You're tuned in to Just One Hot Mom with host Nanika Ansari. Get ready. She's about to bring you that fire, that flavor, that heat, all that passion, and more from around the world and in your neighborhood. Stay tuned. you are tuned in to just one hot mom i am your host nanika and sorry and we are here today with sister talk ltb did i get it right ladies i mean you forgot the whiff but that's okay oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look, let me tell you a name is important honey you have to tell people like this is who we are we stand on that so i don't got to tell y'all who they are each sister is going to introduce themselves have at it ladies y'all can go first <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna pick on pick on Nisha. It's always the oldest to have to go first. Go ahead on with Nisha. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I am Latanisha, better known as Miss Nisha, as Brittany say, the Dola plug. Period. <laughs> hey, Dola plug. Hey, Brittany. All right, Brittany. <laughs> I am Brittany, aka the boss. <laughs> It's always the middle, middle child. <laughs> Hello, everybody. I am so thrilled to be on the show today. And yeah, me, so yeah. Domino. Hey, yeah. y'all. Hey. Oh, oh gosh. <laughs> I'm Sierra, <laughs> the baby sister, as well as known as the mid shifter. You know, <laughs> I can't be trusted to open or close, but you know, we here. Hello. <laughs> And so I'm glad you ladies could come on today because for the last couple of weeks, I've been talking about relationships, like relationships within your family, uh, your significant other relationship and your relationship with yourself. And I thought I watched your podcast and I was like, hey, what about when you have a working relationship with your family? Because most people know that my sister and I work together and we don't always agree. And I was like, people are probably like, it's the most uncomfortable thing to be in the room. Y'all don't agree with each other. But we do great work together. Like we do amazing work together. And I was like, I think that's one, because we have a passion for what we do. But two, we do realize that we are sisters. And at the end of the day, that's what matters. So mm-hmm. why did you guys want to start a podcast? And whose idea was it? The Lord. Come on, come on. (laughs) So, of course, I've I've told this story a few times, but um, basically, I was relaunching my business, Creations by Brittany. And, you know, I just had a conversation with God and I was telling him, like, you know, I want to do something a little more, you know, other than just the business. You know, give me some ideas, Sky Daddy. So, (laughs) (laughs) Sky Daddy. So um, in the conversation that I was having with God, you know, he brought the idea of having like a YouTube show slash podcast, and he kept telling me do it with two other women. So they were not the two other women I was thinking of. (laughs) (laughs) Couldn't believe they were not. Tell the truth. They were not. But God kept showing me the word sister. And, you know, I went back and forth with God on that. And I was like, you sure, Sky Daddy? Are you sure <laughs> that this is who you want me to do it? Because, you know, I, I was a little worried to bring the idea to them, um, especially that little oh. one. That little one, man, oh, man. That <laughs> one, she will tell you, like, mm, that's that's whack. I'm not doing that. So <laughs> I eventually got enough nerve to bring the idea to them. And they loved it. And here we are. Sister well, was it anybody that was shy though because I know like initially when my sister and I started our podcast she was like she would pick out stuff and I would be like mm, mm, mm. then she got shy but then once we got started she was like mm, mm, and we couldn't stop her was there anybody's <laughs> personality who was like oh no I'm not gonna be in front of the camera I don't want to talk no who did you have to talk about? <laughs> You can probably that tell by her face. <laughs> that would be me. <laughs> okay, Nisha. So you do public speaking with Young Lives Cleveland all the time. What made you nervous? You were just going to be having a conversation with your sisters. What was making you nervous? I am always nervous when I have to do public speaking. It doesn't matter where I'm at doing it, 
who I'm doing it with. It really makes me nervous. Uh, it, it makes me nervous to the point that my shins be just jittering. <laughs> your shins, your shins. Okay. The shins, yeah. I ain't never so heard that one. On, they had to keep Neither on telling me. <laughs> right. But they had to keep on telling me that it's just us talking. We're just on the video talking. I was like, yeah, okay, y'all. Everybody gonna be looking at me though. <laughs> <laughs> so what helped you get over your shyness? Is it the fact that you were doing it with your sisters or what pushed you in to be like, I'm not gonna be shy about this? They made me um push through it. Yep, it was them. It was the gas. <laughs> it was the gas. gas. It was the, the gas. gas. <laughs> because I'm thinking like, you know, we people think like, oh, doing a podcast is easy. You just got to get on there and you just got to talk. But in actuality, it's a lot of work. Like you have to be transparent. I have to get on you here and tell you I know what I'm talking about. Like, mm-hmm. how did you guys come up with the concept of what you would be willing to talk about and what you wouldn't be willing to talk about? Tierra, you should answer that. <laughs> I know why she quiet. <laughs> <laughs> I should answer it. Um, so it's it's a lot of topics that we filter through that we may not ever talk about. So um some of the things that we talk about in private then become conversations that we do want to take to the public and get um and get their you know, their opinions on, or, you know, we just want to know how other people feel about the situation, because (laughs) them topics, sometimes they get hot. We ain't gonna let y'all into the group chat, though. You know, we ain't gonna let y'all into the group chat. The group chat, the group chat will go down in history, like, (laughs) throw my phone in the grave with me. (laughs) Listen, because you don't even want to (laughs) know. But... (laughs) But sometimes it's a heated conversation just amongst us. And a lot of times that's that's the topic that needs to be brought um, to the public because right. it's a, a lot of things that people aren't comfortable talking about. And we pride ourselves on encouraging one another and encouraging the people that watch us, um, uplifting them and, you know, helping them make it to the next step or to the next level and things like that. And so those are the topics the controversial topics that need to be talked about and sometimes they're not talked about by people that look like us and we think it's important mm-hmm. you know to bring attention to that so to answer the question sometimes <laughs> sometimes sometimes they don't make it but it's it's just a matter of what are we all comfortable talking about what are we comfortable with saying if we can be our authentic self while talking about this topic And if we can, Mm -hmm. then we won't talk about it um, on camera. So you brought up a good point. Why do you think in our community, people that look like us, especially women, have such a difficult time being transparent, being authentically who they're supposed to be? Why do you think that is? Um, Answer that. Go ahead. I know you can. (laughs) You can be a two-part tag team with. Okay, well, just my little two cent. I just think that, you know, we live in a world where we're going to be judged just yep. off rip. And mm-hmm. it's hard for people to really truly be their authentic self. That's why that's something very important to us. I mean, it's part of our mission statement to be your authentic self. So <laughs> one thing that we always say when we when we record our shows is like, this is a safe place, you know, come here who as you are, we're going to be who we are. And, you know, mm-hmm. it is what it is. But I but as in Tierra's fashion, to answer the question, (laughs) I think it's about, you know, us feeling like we're going to be judged or Mm -hmm. we're going to be looked at in a certain way. So it makes Mm -hmm. it harder for women of color to be able to just be who they are. Mm -hmm. And I see, I think that's the thing for me, because I will tell you, like, always something like, judge me, judge me all you want to uh, throw it at me, because The thing is, I'm going to be me every single day. Like, I have to wake up and be this person. And so Mm -hmm. I have to alter between who I am when I'm with you and who I authentically am. Then we ain't going to vibe. And I'm too much work. Yeah. I was just like, I was talking about the other day. They were like, do you wear makeup? I was like, not every day, maybe on special occasions. Like, (laughs) you're going to get this fresh face. Like, you see what God did? (laughs) It is what it is. And I have no way shape or form against makeup so the only if it's any makeup people out there mm-hmm. oh 
but I also know that I have to be comfortable with just being who I am so mm -hmm. I can appreciate when other African-American females come along and you be, you be true to who you are mm -hmm. but, he, but the thing about being your authentic self is you know accepting the fact that you ain't gonna be like everybody else that's not how God created you to be in the first place and you got to be able to walk that walk mm -hmm. and be able to be different I think that um having our mission statement the way it is it was really um, like a calling out for us. Mm -hmm. Like, are you, our first um, show was about code switching. And, mm -hmm. I remember you know, <laughs> <laughs> being your authentic self at all times. And you're right. When you have to switch and be um, switching with the crowds and blending mm -hmm. in and stuff, it just becomes tiresome. Yeah, so. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. People in corporate America, I'm like, I'm gonna show up as who I am the first day because I don't got time to be y'all figuring Baby. out who I am in the like, interview. <laughs> in the yeah. interview, I am me. This is who I am because I think I had a conversation <laughs> with my sister, and you guys did a show about hair. And I'm sure if you follow me for any amount of time, you know I will show up with whatever hairstyle, and it may be a variety <laughs> of colors. I do not care. And she was like, well, what about when you go to work? And I was like, what? I was like, you think it's going to shine wrong? Like, it ain't going to come through. It's vibrant today. And so I was like, you're going to get who I am all the time. Because if I have to go, one, it's exhausting. I'm not true to myself. And how can I say that I love myself for who mm -hmm. I am if I'm not showing you who I truly am? So right. mm -hmm. I'm totally down for that. You guys crack me up. Because <laughs> you all are true. Like, so the other question I want to ask is like sisters growing up all of that how do you handle disputes now versus you handling disputes back in the day because I can tell you honey me and Isha who we used to go to war we used to, <laughs> to war but I would say I would say it's um it's a lot different it's a lot different the dynamic is probably totally different from you and your sister um just because y'all grew up together it, mm -hmm. probably in the same household and but for us yeah. it was a constant get to know each other type of thing so it was like this is my sister but like I still got to get to know you first of all so amongst us you know what I'm saying <laughs> we got different personalities Brittany is the sweet gangster oh, we she she's so sweet I totally believe you know what I'm saying <laughs> but you know what I'm saying but when it's time to get gutter she'll get gutter but if you catch her on the days that she ain't gutter her feelings is gonna be hurt oh. and then for she's just like a little delicate flower yeah uh, <laughs> But rose, let's be clear. She's a rose. She got them thorns. <laughs> Period. Come on, sis. But, Period. Um, <laughs> but Nisha, she's like the mommy. You know what I'm saying? She's been a mom for a long time. So so she's oh, like, Lord. okay, whatever, whatever you dishing, I can take it. But you need to be able to take what I'm dishing too. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> And then for me, it's just like, uh, ooh, we don't want to make that one. Up. Up. We oh got this shoot. <laughs> you don't want to oh, be so a you the rider. Bad. You the rider. Yeah. She looks yeah. all sweet and innocent, but she she the rider. Okay. She the shooter. Okay. Listen, listen. But at the end of the day, I think that with any relationship, like you said that you've been talking about relationships, with any relationships, you got to learn each other and you know I love you and I'm not really trying to hurt you so at the end of the day saying I, I'm sorry is like top I feel like on our list to be like my bad I really wasn't trying to hurt your feelings but it wouldn't be I wouldn't be uh real if I didn't tell you You're this this and this was wrong I yeah, say that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. It wouldn't be cool if I just let you be out here looking crazy or doing something foolish when I care about you, though. So mm -hmm. I'm telling you this because I care about you. So I hope that you get it. So if you're gonna be mad for a couple of days, go ahead. But I'll be here when you when you are when you you know what I'm saying. Pull it back group, group chat, group chat, go. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> group chat <is> <laughs> 
<laughs> and then you be having a <laughs> chat like, Did, should I say this in the group chat? <laughs> but like, so I would have to say like, in comparing the two, since you guys didn't grow up together and my sister and I did grow up together, I think the difference is, it's like, um, there's just two of us. And so one of us had, you know, be the big sister all the time. There was no mm-hmm. break from that. And then the one is the little sister all the time. And so as we're growing <laughs> up together, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like people are like, oh, you guys are so great together. But it was, it, well, I don't want to say it was competition. It was sibling rivalry because we're trying to figure out who we are as individual people. Mm-hmm. But then people are always lumping us together. Like we used to tell people, like people never said our same names separately. Like it was Nikki Isha. Like it was one name. Like oh, wow. <laughs> you were calling one, you were calling both because they never separated us. And so as we got older, we decided to define our own relationships. So people couldn't tell us like, oh, because you're like this, she's like this. And we're like, no, we, it's mm-hmm. completely opposite. Like I let her do what she does best and she lets me do what I do best. And mm-hmm. as we grow older, like I said, our relationship improved. We have such mm-hmm. a loving relationship now. But I think people don't think about that sister relationship. They automatically think you all related. You get along with everybody. I'm like, no, that's not, that's not it. Because we're still no. <laughs> We're still individual people. That is exactly. You guys started this venture. How did y'all other family members feel about it? Was they like, or no, go ahead and do it. You should do it. Because I know you got the boys over there, Anisha. How did they feel? They was cool. They they was really like um encouraging and go do it, my you know. They they was they was down with it. I mean they um, love they totally love me, so that oh <laughs> my gosh. <laughs> that was also great. <laughs> Anyway, so, <laughs> we, we, come on, gangster. <laughs> I mean, I just got my little my daughter, and you know, she she wants to be a YouTuber so bad, so she's all for it. But then she's like, "Well, w- when you gonna start my channel?" I mean, it's not never about you. It's what I have discovered about this. This is never about you. I like, mean, you can do your own little thing, but my thing is gonna be like this. <laughs> and so it's never about you. So I was just curious as to how the family react. Because when we told our family we were doing this show, people were like, what y'all going to talk about? Because then they like, don't expose us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but that, I think that, but for us, so it was like, um, Brittany came up with the idea and that was that. It was like, <laughs> oh, Brittany is law. It. I know we, that now. Yeah. Brittany is we law. Discussed like, it. We discussed everything amongst us and mm-hmm. we didn't include nobody else in the family mm-hmm. um you know that was that <laughs> it was just like this is what we gonna do and mm-hmm. either you gonna watch it or you not but we, yeah. we're gonna do it so yeah. we tell people like you are not my audience <laughs> <laughs> you are not yeah. my audience but and they are though because they be watching it <laughs> and you know what it is i'm telling you why they watch it because then we'll get a phone call like what you talking about me you know we oh, were talking about we you <laughs> but you knew when we was growing up you used to do that and so we had to for context purposes we had to mention that so i'm always curious how family reacts because i always tell stories on the show but i was like i don't i don't even use my own kids names when people like ask about the site, I never tag my kids in anything. So you won't be able to go follow their social media and mm-hmm. harass them. I may mention <laughs> their names with their pictures, but other than that, like there's no other way to, for you to reach them. And I always mm-hmm. talk to my kids, especially because some of the stuff I talk about is with parenting and it has to do with them. And so mm-hmm. there are stories that I will tell that I'll be like, all right, I'm going to tell the story today. If you're not comfortable, mm-hmm you know Aww. let me know now but they become really comfortable with a lot of the stories because I told them we're going to help another family and right. so you see your show doing that like when you were talking about that I, recently I saw someone post like about the pet peeve thing and I was like oh when she said mm. I was like I don't like rude people that is a pet peeve <laughs> like it got me thinking so then mm-hmm. I'm always reminding kids like mind your manners because people don't like that people like me (laughs) i know uh, one of the things of what he did for the family was um my granddaughters they think that i caught them one day sitting in a hallway acting like sister talk (laughs) so you know it's three of them they're sisters 
and they're sitting there with their dolls acting like sister talk. And so when they come over and they begin to watch <laughs> YouTube and stuff, it's like, can we watch sister talk? We want to watch sister talk. I'm like, <laughs> is right here what are y'all talking about <laughs> you know, but you're preparing the next generation for what they're supposed to do next like mm-hmm. I, you know like anisha knows my children and simone is extremely shy very well like very extremely well. shy but she started her own channel and like the more she started talking about it i was like well can i share it with people like you know are you ready to be out there like that and so we're leading by example i believe we're creating a space for mm-hmm. our daughters and our sons to really be like mm-hmm. okay like my mama did this and you know what mm-hmm. care what nobody said so i know i can do this so you're making space for the next generation to be who they're supposed to be so kudos to you mm-hmm. guys and let me know when the little mm-hmm. ones come out with they show so i could be like oh, <laughs> right <laughs> Hey, wait, eating well, show. I was just about to <laughs> say Eden is really the boss, though. I mean, <laughs> now who was Eden? Jesus. That's Eden your name. Yeah. Yes. I just she was up that. here at first. Yeah, she was over here at first. She watched the Bluey. Hey, Hopefully somebody got to be in charge. Doing somebody something. has to be in charge. It just it is what it is. Did you guys discover something new about each other that you didn't know, though? Like, you know, you think you know people, and then when you start to work together, you're like, oh that's how you work because my sister is OCD and (laughs) I knew it was with the cleaning thing I didn't know that it trickled over into other stuff it made for better business I'm not gonna lie like she did improve and I was like now I'm a little OCD but (laughs) and I'm sure there's something about me where she was like I did not know that what did you guys discover about each other when you embarked on this adventure um go ahead for me, first of all, I think we're always discovering new stuff about each other. <laughs> um, but I think for for me, I learned that Tierra actually is nice. <laughs> <laughs> there was questions here. There was, I learned that, that she is very she is she has a big heart. She mm-hmm. has a big heart and she really will give you the shirt off her back. She might tell you off while she's doing it. <laughs> First but... of all, you should have told me you needed a shirt to begin with. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that would be her. She'll give you the shirt off of her back. And that was a big thing for me because Tierra was not nice when I met her. <laughs> she was nice. But when I really started to learn who she was and just like, you know, she started to unfold. I think that's a good word to use Mm -hmm. for her. She started to unfold because, you know, at first it was like, okay, I'm cool. Y'all cool and everything. And then as she started to pull those layers <laughs> back, it's like, oh, she, she really liked us. <laughs> she <laughs> liked it. That was funny. <laughs> and I think with Nisha, man, like every day I learned how strong she is Mm -hmm. she doesn't really notice it she doesn't understand just how strong she is and that that to me is something to look up to because baby (laughs) sometimes sometimes and I I never tell her this but sometimes when I'm thinking about stuff we're making decisions I'll be like well what would Nisha do that mushy so <laughs> we know oh. Uh-oh. i she got to <laughs> y'all everybody <laughs> but um the one thing i learned about nisha was that i never knew she was scared of anything for real period <laughs> like she's just my big sister you know you like my big sister like <laughs> you know what i'm saying she cool, she down the right. The boys gonna come through if I need them. <laughs> Everything is straight, you know what I'm saying? And not that you always call on a person, but you just be like, you know what? This my big sister, like she got it. She seems so level-headed all the time. But then, you know, she was like, hey, I am just a person, okay? <laughs> I'm human. I be going through it, yeah, but... It's like she really depend on God a lot to push her, pull her through everything. And for real, that is so uh, awesome. I mean, it's still like you, you raw, you know what I'm saying? It's just a different side of it. You know what I mean? 
Um, and then for Brittany, it's so oh, many God. things that I learned oh, about Brittany. God. First of all, <laughs> Brittany. Oh, let me, let me drink some water. <laughs> Brittany is the man with the plan, though. You know oh. what I'm saying? She be all the time. She be talking about how much, how organized Nisha is, but she got the plan. She be having the plan. She be like, mm-hmm. okay, so this is what we gonna do. We gonna do it like da 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 da. It's gonna be like this, and that's on period. And we be like, okay, on so period. We, we <laughs> on period. Like, you gotta no add that period so they know you for hey. real. They need to know you for hey. real. Hey, whatever it is, we down <laughs> then. Let's go. Let's go. Um, period. And and I also learned that she is a performer at heart. Okay. <laughs> she is going to perform. I don't know how to feel She's about that. For the show. <laughs> don't the give show. Me my... It is going to be a good show. It is going to be a good I show. I bet it is. Because Brittany sings. Brittany is the, you're the one who sings. Brittany is sings. She a, she a DJ. She a MC. She is, you're right. <laughs> she will do it all. She does it all. Okay, yeah, Brittany. Yeah, she might she cut the rug a couple times. All that. <laughs> I agree with um Tierra. Oh, yeah, Brittany funny. never give herself um the credit that is due to her. She is the organizer. She she always talking about how organized I am. If y'all can see my desk right now, it's not organized at all. <laughs> well, you make it look like you organized. <laughs> but homegirl. Um, she could just she have her vision, and she is gonna expedite it. She's gonna put us all in place and make it go accordingly. And honey, don't give her the mic. <laughs> <laughs> all I could say, don't give her the mic. Don't do it. I'm gonna give it that. unless you don't want to talk no more. <laughs> okay. Oh, she is she the takeover, huh? Look. <laughs> and for Tierra, oh my goodness, I learned a lot about baby sis. So, um, but the one thing or uh, what I learned the most is her love for God. Mm. Oh my goodness. She would stop us wherever we at and we're gonna say a prayer. Um, she gonna get us together in Jesus' name. <laughs> Amen might- on the game. Y'all okay, because she gonna go straight gang on you, but it's gonna be in Jesus' name. Um, and she just really like pull us all together, like make everything be um looked at from a different perspective. We could be on some straight hood stuff, and she'll be like, Well, y'all, you gotta look at it like this, that, and the other. But like, we don't want to. Like, <laughs> that. So there's there's balance in the relationship. There's mm-hmm. so all of you balance each other out because from your conversation, we do. You're like, no, mm-hmm. sis, you good at this. You're like, no, you're good at this. And so it's like mm-hmm. seeing all of it come together. There's balance there because that's what we really need. Is like so mm-hmm. all of you have to balance us out because for people with mm-hmm. anxiety, you need that person that's gonna be like, count to ten, pull it together. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. the people you need somebody to be like what would jesus do <laughs> before you act so i was like i see a lot of balance in your relationship <laughs> now let's go back to your mission statement can you guys tell me since you know like you know how people be like oh our mission statement but they don't really know it what part <laughs> of your mission statement is the most <laughs> important to you being your authentic self. authentic self <laughs> And why yep, is it yeah. important to you guys? Because um, when the mission statement was wrote, I really think that it was God calling me out. Because I get on my sisters about being your authentic self, walking into oh, the room no, she... and mm-hmm. just be who you <laughs> is. And if they don't like it, just oh, well, keep it moving. That was my thing to them. But Nisha was not being her authentic self. And so it was like, well, how are you going to call somebody and tell them to do this and you not doing it? Mm. So um, that is the most important part of our mission statement. If you can be your authentic self, you're definitely going to go to the next level. Mm-hmm. I agree. 
Well said. <laughs> I, well said. Okay. I agree with that. I agree with that. Attitude. I concur. I concur. <laughs> <laughs> what are some of the things though, that you want your guests to take away? Because I know like from my show, I want people to have authentic conversations because I think sometimes people are scared to talk about stuff. So we you know, and growing up, I don't know about your house, but I know in a bunch of households, it was like, whatever goes on here stays here. And so mm -hmm. sometimes we don't have the most open conversations because there are trust issues that have come from generations before us. So what is it that you want your audience to take away after they have a conversation with you? I think we all should chime in on this one. Um, I think so too. For me, <laughs> for me, the, the main talk. thing... <laughs> want our audience to take away from sister talk is to just be open-minded and realize that there isn't just only one way of thinking you know what I mean and, and be respectful of mm. the fact that you may not agree with this person which is fine you're not all going to see it the same way but still respect it and I think that's something that we uh we show in the show a lot because we don't always agree they don't never Ooh. agree with me. <laughs> the point is, Whatever. The point is just be, be respectful about it. Like we may not right. agree, but I, I never feel like they disrespect me or my way of thinking or my way of doing mm -hmm. things. So I think that that's important. Um, watching a show like this, you know, and having your conversations with people outside of the show, just be respectful, be mindful and be open-minded. Mm -hmm. Um. I would say, well, first of all, because we're talking about our mission statement, we haven't actually said our entire mission statement. I, I, I thought I, one of you guys are guests. <laughs> are gonna guests. do it. <laughs> How you pulled it up? So, go, go <laughs> ahead, girl. Be go our guest. You might get a promotion. The mission. <laughs> the, argument, the, the mission statement is we want to engage me. you in some sassy conversation. Okay. We want to empower you to be your authentic self and we want to encourage you to the next level so oh, on each and Dang. every show <laughs> on each and every show we want to make sure that all three of those things are addressed so we do want to engage you in sassy conversation a lot of times we just say sassy because First of all, <laughs> we are black. You know, we gonna add a little pizzazz, it's a little fancy. twang. It's, it's you know what I'm saying? It, I call it fancy because you know, like you know, it's gone. It's gone. Fancy. I'm just fancy. You know, <laughs> I'm gonna just add a little razzle dazzle, whatever it is. You <laughs> know what I'm girl saying? Magic, just it. a little bit. Um, okay. And then at the end of the conversation, we do want to give an encouraging word, and we want to empower you. So throughout the conversation, we want to empower you right to be be who you really is don't be don't be out here be you know what i'm saying acting like <laughs> jojo from down the street when right. when you ain't even raised like jojo what you doing <laughs> you don't know nothing about what they talking about you know and and to say like being your authentic self is nothing to be here like we've been talking about it's nothing to be here be you because god only made one you it's only That's you right. who can be you. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So, and you are needed. And you are needed. And yes, Amen. you Amen. are needed. Exactly. And mm -hmm. then, you know, and at the end, we just want to make sure that we encourage you to whatever next level you're trying to get to. And it really embodies our relationship, the mission statement. God may have gave it to Nisha to call her out, but I hear preachers say this a lot, where it was for us first. You know what I'm saying? And everything of what we talk about is for us first, like we said at the beginning, and then it's for y'all. So I had to address <laughs> something in myself that Ooh, was, you baby. know what I'm saying, that maybe wasn't authentic or I was beating up on myself. I wasn't going mm -hmm. to the next level. I was stuck. I was stagnant mm -hmm. in whatever situation. And it's also like what you was just talking about, about having them difficult conversations where you felt like your voice wasn't heard growing up or you, there was a distrust. We saying it's a safe place. If you don't have a safe place, mm -hmm. then you feel free to reach out to us. We are no therapists. We are no, uh, <laughs> we nobody to be telling you what to do. But if you need a vent, by all means, our, our inbox is open. You know what I'm That's saying? That's right. 
Our inbox is open. Say whatever you got comment. to say. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, like, comment, and subscribe, guys. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> Whatever it is, you know what I'm saying? And then um, I, the, our past couple videos, or at least for last season, it was just really a tough time in the world. And we really pray at the end of those videos because mm-hmm. it was like, we want to encourage you. We want to empower you. You need to go to the next level and don't be stuck there. And wherever you at, we send a prayer for you that it reach you wherever you at and that God take you higher. So the, um, the thing of what I think about with us um, I don't even think I ever told this to my sisters is when people look at us, when women look at us, when families look at us, know that um, this is an authentic relationship. We didn't grow up together, but we have a genuine, authentic relationship. <laughs> we was able to put together. Well, we didn't put it together. We was able to accommodate Brittany on her <laughs> <laughs> on her journey. Look, I did right there. On that. her journey. <laughs> but seriously you when you look at us when you hear us when you see us out in the public it's almost you don't know that we didn't grow up together and so it's to I encourage the family it's to encourage the next family like hey if you have siblings that you don't talk to for whatever reason squash it keep it going and you can't have an authentic relationship with them look at us <laughs> mm-hmm. I yep. just think that's amazing because the way y'all vibe together, like I told you, I was like, I would have never guessed that you guys didn't grow up together because you just have a vibe. Like the presence is like, yes, we sisters, <laughs> you're gonna get this system magic, and that's just what it is. We laying it down for you. So I think it's just amazing that you guys are telling this story and you're telling it in such a way that even if you're not connected to a person, the way that people think you genuinely, you generally come into a relationship with people, you can have mm-hmm. something genuine and it mm-hmm. not be, mm-hmm. because honestly, like when I started talking about the relationship stuff, I first talked about the relationship of sisterhood, because I think so, I hear so many women say like, oh, I can't work with another woman or I can't do it with another woman. And I was like, mm-hmm. I honestly think it's because they haven't been brought into the fold of a sisterhood right. that allows mm-hmm. them to be free mm-hmm. yes so when you yes. can experience another woman's freedom that says like okay it's okay to be who I am like I can take off the mask <laughs> and I really say it for black women because we get so yes. many things said about us like oh you're mean or you're hard mm-hmm. and it's stuff like that and we don't have a lot of safe spaces so I think it's important that one we create those spaces and when mm-hmm. we're in those spaces we be true to who we are I think you guys mm-hmm. are um, excellent job with that and I want to give you guys a cool bunch of flowers right now Thank because you. you know I was a cool, like I'm a coach and people are like, well, what about someone? So I will recommend another coach to you in a heartbeat because <laughs> I can only be like, like you guys said, I can only be the type of coach that I am. Right. And mm-hmm. I'm not for everybody. That'll be my first mm-hmm. I'm not for everybody. Like if you're not going to do the work, then don't work with me because you're going to be mad when I be like, you got homework. <laughs> <laughs> but isn't it so refreshing to be able to say that and not have to worry about the judgment and what people are saying like I ain't the coach for you boo oh, but I, I got trolls. somebody for you I, I get trolls for sure <laughs> y'all don't throw the video um, but, uh, <laughs> um it was really people like oh you have to have a tough skin and I was like not necessarily sometimes I'll be looking like mm, mm. like a lady came in and I I don't know I know you know I used to do tea time I would take certain teas and mix them together and be like oh you try to see and she was like you're encouraging people to get diabetes and I was like what I was like this is diabetes I was like I'm not I'm just making tea like (laughs) don't make it or do make it you know and so that was like wow she was like and I was like it's water and tea leave me alone um (laughs) but I was like it did make me be like I have I don't I don't have to go back on the attack. I can be gentle and kind with you, even though you're not gentle and kind with me. I don't have to create a space of animosity. You could be going through something that day and I not know. Mm-hmm. So me creating that gentle space. But I said, sometimes we 
as Black women aren't offered that space. Mm-hmm. So I'm glad to be able to offer my fellow sister, my fellow, whatever aspect, whatever business you're doing, whatever you got going on, I'm happy to be able to offer that space. And if um, that's all I do, then I fulfilled the mission I feel like I was sent here for was mm-hmm. to make sure that my sisters, yes. no matter where you at in life, no matter what you look like, you feel mm-hmm. safe when we have a mm-hmm. conversation. And I think you right. guys are like, I'm glad I got y'all out there doing it. Because on the time when I take off, I'll be like, listen to them. <laughs> 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 this is going to lay down and get her rest. <laughs> so what does the future of your podcast look like for you guys? What do you think the future holds? Dun, 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 dun. Like if you were thinking, you know how people be like five years from now, like you're fired. Years. No, I'm just no. <laughs> <laughs> in, the next, <laughs> in the next couple of months, as we come to the close of this year, what does the future of the podcast look like? Definitely, we want to build our following. Um, so we definitely want to make sure that we get those subscribers that we're looking for you know because like comment subscribe like they said <laughs> um <laughs> if we're speaking in terms of the closing of this year you know um for me i think that the show was brought together obviously from the lord but i think that it was something to really really bring our sisterhood Mm-hmm. Not, I don't want to say to life because it was already birthed, but it really just bonded us even more. Um, for me personally, I'm trying to get that Oprah check at some point. So, mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm right. You know, I would love, I would love for Sister Talk to be like on a network at some point, or you know, get that nice YouTube check or, or what have you, you know. Um, but in terms of this year and, and, and next the following months i just want us to continue to get our followers up and just reach as many people as we can if we can help somebody you know like tiara said we're not therapists or doctors or anything but if we can reach mm-hmm. someone and just really help them mainly the biggest thing if we can bring somebody to christ come on now you no know, i think <laughs> that that would be a very very huge goal for this year for me, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Absolutely. I think that Brittany speaks for us all. She's yep. the boss. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you quit messing with people. You don't quit messing with people. No, they not. No, they not. <laughs> and it wouldn't be right if they did. It wouldn't even be right if they did. I'd be like, what's the problem with them today? <laughs> you sick. <laughs> no, I like that. I mean, but I think that is the truth, though, because it um, mm-hmm. when it, I think that when Brittany came to us with this idea uh, for me, I was just doing it to support my sister. This was her dream. This was something that she wanted to do. And I was like, okay, well, that's what we're doing. And then when she got to talking all this other stuff, I was like, for real? That's what you want? Oh, I didn't know that. Like, okay. <laughs> I didn't sign up for all of that. I didn't sign up for that. That was not in the job description. No. Girl. <laughs> but I'm, I'm here for it. I'm here for it. I mean, um, I definitely want to see it. Um, as Brittany said, get that Oprah track you know go to the next level and all of that kind of stuff but um if it doesn't get there like that like I just want people to see the authentic relationships and see that we are women of the lord and you bring it to the feet of <laughs> Jesus because Tia are gonna pray us through it all <laughs> I know that's right Tia I might have to read some notes I might be like Tia what about yes. this <laughs> <laughs> Yes, <laughs> but I think that that's important. Like that's what we're missing in relationships. You know what I'm saying? Like in authentic sister relationships, when some go on, people think we automatically go to gossiping. And I was like, most of the women I know, honey, will pray for you and then be like, yes, oh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and that's what is like. I was telling somebody, I was like, in my 20s, I didn't have um, friendships like that. It was we on go, it's on site. It was so aggressive that it left no place for you to be soft. It left no place for you to be like 
for you to have a conversation with God. We didn't talk about stuff like that. So as I got older, I was like, oh, I'm about to call you and tell you. And they're like, girl, we need to pray. We need to settle mm-hmm. down. We need to pray and let Jesus direct the path. And it was like, oh, I needed more relationships mm-hmm. like that. So open yeah. that space. Yes. Yeah. I, I mean, it. we gonna get on the battlefield, you know. <laughs> We gonna get on the battlefield now, oh, lady. I put on the whole. Hey, I, I, listen, <laughs> it just really depends on which side the date today, and I'm just gonna keep it real. <laughs> but I can't pray to the spirit. You people. will reap of the spirit. <laughs> you gotta pray with me. Don't play with me, cause you don't want that sad that play, honey. You don't want that other mode. Oh, so try, try to you keep her reap. contained. There goes to you. Like, oh, you won't. My name is Nanika, but you want Nick to come out. You want her to. <laughs> Don't call her. She got a problem. She is not right now. <laughs> but I think it's all that's genuinely about growth. Like we know what we should do. Like you know that mm-hmm. your entire life, but when you really know it and you start to act it, is when right. you're like, mm-hmm. okay, Lord, we was building up to this. I had to be this way in order mm-hmm. to realize, like. I had to move right. into this space. So Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Please tell her. Because I be telling people like, don't try it today. <laughs> don't try it today. Um, I'm a sweetheart for real though. I'm gonna just stay in the house today because you know can't can't do it. No. <laughs> you go outside. <laughs> All right, ladies. I'm so gonna I protect need the world. <laughs> right. I have my Bible in my pocket, like, let me take this out. And see where you're acting <laughs> up right here. And I'm over here in the Bible. I need to be on the same page. All right. So I need for you one, I know you guys have the podcast, but you all have other businesses going on. So I need you to give us your information and how we can connect with you and your other business. Oh, Nisha. Go first. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not. You're not. You are. Don't make me say it. How she Where'd she go? go? <laughs> she disappeared. Now she disappeared. <laughs> She really disappeared. Oh, I thought, I thought uh, she Rene. fell out the gym. <laughs> Rene, show us how it's done. Well. well. <laughs> I don't know where to even start. I am the doula plus, however. Doula plus. Yes, 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 yes. I love the doula plus, too. Okay, what is the doula plus? The doula plus... <laughs> is a lot of people think that it is doula services but it's not so you can I can be your doula but it's really like a resource um like a resource center if I had a building baby that's what it would be it's a resource building I'm trying to get because, it. <laughs> um I believe that um all black women should have all the resources of what they need. And that is what I be out here in the community doing, just making sure that I have enough resources to give to mothers. Um, the biggest population that I love is teen moms. <laughs> I, I, I'm always out here trying to get resources for teen moms because they are always thrown to the wayside which brings me to two other organizations that I work for. That is Young Lives Cleveland, um, that I have been the coordinator on staff for, what, four hours, five years, I think? But I've been a part of the ministry for almost 20. I Can I like get forever, it? For, forever. <laughs> Can I get it? <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I have this amazing job that works, that intertwines with... Um, Young Lives Cleveland, I'm the coordinator for the team, my coordinator for Birth and Beautiful Communities as well. So I'm all about team moms and making sure that they get their resources. But other mommies, I'm here for y'all too. So you're um, all about birth, honey, giving birth to a dream, <laughs> a baby, a call. All of that. Yeah. I see you. I see you. Goals. Let's let's do a goal set, goal plan, and baby, let's reach for it. Let's go for it. Whatever we gotta do. And I'm going to connect you to what you got to do. That's why it's called the doula plug. <laughs> Specializing in pandemic babies. Come on now, <laughs> next level baby right there. Pandemic babies is next level babies. Okay. They are. <laughs> okay. Well, I All guess, right, Brent. What you going to do? Next. 
all right so look y'all <laughs> you can <laughs> Not follow right, so me on all social media platforms at creations by Brittany. I create things, okay? Mainly <laughs> t-shirts. So I guess I'm a t-shirt business, but you know, I do some <laughs> other stuff too, you know. So please hit me up for all of your custom <laughs> needs, okay? All of your custom needs, all right? I got you. I'm also an MC. I just decided that two weeks ago. Oh, <laughs> so, no. Side hustle MC. extraordinaire. Side hustle extraordinaire. Looking for an MC for your next event. Hit me up because I Period. am there for you. And that's what yes, I want. Yes, baby. Yes. She's going to make a party ride. She going to make okay. a party ride. <laughs> well, y'all can that's follow me bro. on my regular page <laughs> at here. <laughs> <laughs> T-E dot A-I-R-R-A spell it right that is Tierra y'all can follow me as I figure out what I want to do in life figure out what my niche is figure out what it is that I am most passionate about I'm passionate about a lot of different things you know what I'm saying I'm involved I dibble and dabble you feel me oh but <laughs> can you dibble well, and dabble follow that butter for your sister? <laughs> Right, our, our, knees, our knees is messed up our elbows is like, messed up and stuff. so who's gonna talk information though because ain't none of y'all um, right, but <laughs> talk. so i was gonna go there you know what i'm saying i mean as an individual though <laughs> oh. <It's here. laughs> uh, and then you can follow us on all social media platforms at sister talk with ltb and if you have any ideas, Black-owned businesses, anything yes. that y'all want to promote, uh, we, we can do women businesses. We want to do a shout out every Wednesday. However, we haven't gotten any submissions lately. So if you're trying to get some traffic, to come through there. Hit us up. Mm-hmm. Yes. Y'all can email us at sistertalkwithltb at gmail.com. Oh, I want to thank Shoot, y'all for coming on because, baby, this was the... <laughs> I always think people think, like, one, my sister and I are finding more sisters to talk to. <laughs> so like, you know, I'm like, it's not just us. Like, we got this group. Of we have found more sisters to have conversations with because we're just curious about how y'all do. Y'all interact how we interact. And so, like, that's all I find it fascinating. And I really appreciate the conversation today. One is we're unashamed and unapologetic about one saying that we praise a mighty and serve a mighty God. That's right. That we are Black women that want to create safe spaces for people that look like us. We're not saying that we're not going to create, you know, sister, if you need some help, you can get a tool, but we want to make sure that we're authentically creating it for women that look like us. And so I'm always always ecstatic when I have women who look like me who are on the same mission as me to make sure that we are creating that safe space hey hotties it's been an amazing show I hope you guys are enjoying the comeback we will have many more topics about relationships coming up very soon as always you can find me at justonehotmom.com or at nanika that's n-a-n-e-k-i-a.com Follow me on social media platforms as Just One Hot Mom or more recently, The Hot Mama Spot, where we will inspire, bloom, (laughs) grow, and learn together. As always, you can find me and the hottest kids around the world and in your neighborhood where we will bring you that fire, that flavor, that heat, all things saucy. We'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.